Hello, my fellow parasites. Parasites? Apologize! No. Anyway, welcome to Season 4 of the Venom Vlog. This season we'll be covering Venom 2 movie news, more classic Venom and Carnage stories, the Spider-Man Maximum Venom animated series, and all comics involving Eugene Flash Thompson. So sit back and enjoy another exciting episode of The Venom Vlog. I'm Tom Hardy and you're watching The Venom Vlog. Oh man. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Venom Vlog, and today we are here to talk about The King in Black, which is a storyline that was just announced today by Donny Cates and Ryan Stegman, who are the uh, you know the, the main writer and artist of the, uh, the storytellers, if you will, of the Venom book that's been coming out for the past two years or so now, since May of 2018. And apparently this is the big story they've been building up to. Now, I don't know if this is the end of their Venom run. I would imagine not. I feel like Donny talks a lot about how he, he's going to write this book for years. Um, so this could just be step two of his like three step or four step run. I have no idea. Um, they don't really go over any of that information here because it's not really relevant. I mean, it doesn't matter. You know, we'll, we'll you know, he'll end when he's done, I guess. Uh, but uh, but I'm just kind of curious because if it, if it is the end, there's a lot of plot threads that have to. I feel like kind of have to wrap up, uh, but uh, but otherwise, you know, if it's not if it, if this is not the end, then we got plenty of time to get into that. And I'm starting to think it's not the end. But uh, that aside, you know, I have an article here from Hollywood Reporter, uh, which is you know this is gr the great thing about uh, comic books is that I worked in comic books. Some of the hardest things to get sometimes is a you know an article on a main stream website like Hollywood Reporter or someone like that or New York Times or something like that. It's it happens, but it's really hard and you have to do something really big to kind of get their attention. I think right now because of the pandemic, Hollywood Reporter doesn't have a lot of other news they, they have to cover. So maybe they're covering a little bit more comic news than they normally would. Um, but still, when you get an article on Hollywood Reporter, I feel like it should really it shouldn't just be an announcement article. It should have some substance to it. And the problem is, is that they didn't really reveal anything about this story. Now, I'm not asking for major plot threads. Uh, Donnie Cates and Ryan Segment put up a video on YouTube, and you can check it out here. I'll, put, I'll have some clips up, but yeah, I'll put a link to it down below so you can watch it, you know, um, and check it out. They give some things, but really all they say is, you know, oh, Noel's coming. Then they talk about creating Noel and, you know, and that Ryan Stegman, you know, kind of drew him and that in this series, there might be a couple different versions of him, apparently. Um, and that uh, it's going to take all the Marvel characters, you know, who think they have a plan to go up against Null, but it's it's not going to, I guess, not going to work out for them and stuff. And they're not as ready as they think they are for a character like Null, which I've talked about this before. It's like, all right, when you're bringing in a new villain, it's one thing to bring in a guy who, um, you know, sends a bunch of villains at Batman and then breaks his back, you know, like Bane and has and temporarily beats Batman and the Batman comes back, you know, and, and takes it over. It's one thing to do that. It's another thing to literally create a character who is just all powerful, all everything, and can wipe out everyone in the Marvel Universe and give them such problems and guff. It's, I don't know, to me, it's just like, it's it's very convenient. You know, it's just like, oh, here's my villain. He's the best villain of them all. He can kill Celestials and he can do this. So, you know me, I have my issues with, with Null. I don't really think he's a character. I just think he's this thing that is just meant to be this all-powerful challenge for the characters and there's not much to him um but that could change you know kind of like how you know if Donnie Cates is framing this like the Marvel movies they tease Thanos at the end of Avengers but the average person didn't know who Thanos was and they didn't really get much more of them throughout the movies and like a scene here in Guardians of the Galaxy or a scene there you know from time to time but they never really got any of his story until Infinity War so maybe that's what Donnie Cates is doing maybe he's just like all right in King and Black it's a maybe it's a null focus story and we're going to get uh, some depth to the character. And that's fine. You know, if that's if that's the build up, that's fine. I, I don't have a problem with that. I just I just need to know more about the character to like him. A lot of people out there already love null. And I'm just like, based on what, though, like just that he's all powerful, uh, you know, and whatever. Uh, and it's easy to say you're all powerful, you know, and not show it. So I'm not I mean, you know me, I'm I'm. I'm hesitant. You know, the other thing is, is I notice we get people get crucified nowadays for lack of diversity and, you know, and all this other stuff. So I just find it surprising that Donnie Cates can do, you know, 25 plus issues of a comic like Venom and not really have any female characters. I don't think any gay characters, um, you know, not that you need to force that stuff in there. I know a lot of people be like, seek, you don't need to force that stuff in. I'm not saying any of that. 
I'm, I, I like the book how it is, you know, like for the most part. I mean, I still have issues with retconning Venom Sister, another female character that doesn't exist now. Um, you know, so I have my issues with it for sure, my critiques, but it has nothing to do with those things. I'm just saying people get crucified for far less on Twitter and uh, Instagram and Facebook for, th for this. And, and yet, you know, no one's come after Donnie for that. Even the cover of this book, I love it. Besides Null, it's all white characters, <laughs> like on the cover. It's Venom, Eddie Brock, you know, you got a Canadian and Wolverine, I guess. You got Bruce Banner, who's Hulk, you know, who's a white dude. Uh, you got Iron Man on the cover, uh, Spider-Man on the cover. It just made me laugh. I'm just like, and Captain America's on the cover. I'm just like, wow, that's uh, that's amazing. Like, that's the most non-diverse <laughs> cover, and yet, uh, and yet no backlash on it. Which is, you know, I'm not saying go backlash him. I'm just good on you, you know, uh, social media for not uh, attacking this guy for telling the story the way he wants to tell it. Like, I'm just, I don't know, I guess I'm just kind of shocked by it. Um, but uh, but that aside, you know, like I, this this book, you know, they don't really talk about it. Like Hollywood Reporter, they mentioned Noel was created by Cates and Stegman on their issue three of Venom in 2018, um, and that he's tied to the the all black, the necro sword and stuff, um, and that he's a, the, the god of the Clintar race, the symbiote race. Um, so yeah, they, they talk a little bit about that, but we already knew all that. And then it has quotes here from Donnie that are from the video where he says, as far as events go, this is the coolest, darkest, most heavy metal, uh, Cthulhu dark horror thing that I've ever been able to do. Um, I do have a little bit of critique. He mentioned heavy metal there. Um, I do have a little bit of a critique for Donnie Cates. Uh, he does YouTube stuff too sometimes with Ryan Stegman. Uh, Ryan Stegman's a great guy. I love his stuff. I love hearing him talk about design and character and stuff. Uh, but Ryan, but uh, Donnie Cates, I think he was maybe nervous, but they had uh, the writer of heavy metal from DC. Uh, they had, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, 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 Snyder, uh, Scott Snyder. They had him on their show recently and they were Donnie would ask him a question and then proceed to talk for 15 minutes and never give Scott Snyder a chance to answer. And then when Snyder finally does answer, Donnie kept interrupting him um, and talking over him. And I was just like, I, I, I don't know, just, I don't know if you're watching Donnie, but just a little feedback for you there. Like he's a guest on your show, man. Like let, get, let him talk let him answer your questions. I don't know. Maybe you were nervous and I get that. Yeah. I'd, I'd probably be nervous talking to Scott Snyder too. I like his stuff. So, um, so I get it, but it's like, you know, it's, it's a, it's a guest. Uh, but you know, he, so you, you let your guests talk, you know, that's the kind of the whole point of having a guest is so that your viewers don't listen to you talk all the time now. Cause you do, you know, like me, I've talked 500 plus episodes of Venom. So when I have guests on the Parasite podcast, I try at least to have them talk more than me because it's like, people have heard me talk. They hear me talk all the time. Like let them have their moment. Uh, but anyway, just a little feedback there. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, so he mentions you know, the most heavy metal thing. And I'm just like, yeah, okay. Um, but uh, yeah, so King in Black, you know, it's, it kind of reminds me of Man in Black, you know, the, 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 the song and stuff. Um, but it's like, okay, King in Black. So that it's a null focus story. It's going to involve the Marvel Universe. It's happening sooner than I thought. I thought they were going to do like a couple months of Null is coming, kind of like how Doomsday is coming or something. Like I thought they were going to do that for a few months and then announce the book closer to when like the movie, the second movie was coming out. But looks like they maybe originally planned for this to come out in October and it's getting pushed back now to December. So we do know the release date. It'll come out in December. Um, we don't know how many issues it's going to be. We don't know any of that. We do know Ryan Stegman's drawing it and that Donny Cates is writing it and that this is the next event. We don't know about tie-ins yet. We don't know about any of that stuff. Um, so we'll see what happens. You know, we don't know anything. So that's what I'm saying. This To get a Hollywood Reporter article and to really just say, hey, we have a book coming out called King in Black. It's the coolest, darkest, most heavy metal event we've ever done. Okay. <laughs> Hollywood Reporter must really need, uh, really must need articles right now. Um, you know, no offense to you guys, uh, but, uh, but, you know, I feel like if you're going to announce this, you... You, you utilize that announcement better. You do, you, you work your press better because there's no guarantee you'll get a follow-up article on this. You know, um, you might for sure. You can, you can hope for that, but there's no guarantee. By the time the book comes out, we might be getting movies again. The Hollywood Reporter may be way more interested in other things and they may not have time to post an article talking about all your tie-ins and stuff. So you want to utilize that press time the best you can. That's what a good marketing strategy is and does. And this just feels like, Let's just get it out there. Let's just get people talking about this. Um, and it's like, that's fine, I guess. Uh, I'm talking about it for sure. But 
I'm not really talking about it because there's no details here. There's no meat to this. There's just a very non-diverse cover. I forgot to mention Cyclops on the cover. Uh, so, uh, but yeah, so it's just like, it's just like all these white guys and no. And I'm just like, well, hey, that's fine. That doesn't bother me. I, I do notice things like that, but it doesn't bother me. Story is what I care about. And I don't care if characters are one race or another, if they're one gender or another. It doesn't matter to me. As long as the story's good and every character gets their moment to shine and gets something to do to add to the story, that's all I care about. I'm just saying, when I see stuff like this, there are people that get crucified for way less online, and uh, and yet no noise over this. So I was like, hey, good on you, internet. I guess you got other things. You're you know, there's real problems in the world. So I think you don't have to complain about this. But I'm just surprised that there wasn't some complaint about it. Uh, is all. <laughs> but yeah, what do you guys think? I guess this is the big winter book. It's coming December uh, 2020 this year. Obviously, um, issue one will come out. King and Black. We don't know again. We don't know about tie-ins. We don't know about anything. We just know it's the third major event Marvel's putting out this year. Empire uh, is first, then Ten of Swords, and then it's going to be this. And Ten of Swords I'm getting more intrigued with because I heard it might tie into uh, the King of Black or King in Black. So that could be cool if Apocalypse is somehow tied to Null. Uh, and then if you read Ravencroft, if you haven't read that, check that out. That's a pretty neat book um, that kind of ties into what might happen as well. And uh, what might even happen over in the Nick Spencer Spider-Man book with Sin Eater and stuff and Kindred and stuff. So I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm curious if this all connects somehow, I'll give Marvel a ton of credit. I don't really think that highly of, uh, of a cohesiveness like this. But if they pull it off, I'll be honest with you, man. I'll put my foot right in my mouth and I'll say, hey, sorry I doubted you. I was just going off past experience. But, you know, clearly I was wrong this time. If this all pulls together and this event works and Null turns out to be a really cool character and stuff for me. I mean, I know a lot of he's cool to a lot of you, but for me, I'm still on the fence on him. I'm still trying to figure out who he is and what he's about other than just domination and stuff, and, you know, or, or bringing everything back to silence, which is. That was a story in Supernatural, which is my, you know, my favorite TV show. There's a, a guy who exists in the void, which anytime a, a, you know, an angel or demon die, their spirits go to, you know, they have to go somewhere. So they go to this endless black void where it's just quiet. And there's a being in there that just likes everything to be silent. And so when, when Castiel the angel woke up in the void and started talking, the, the, the void got mad. It was like, no, go back to sleep. You're like a gnat. And so the void sent Castiel back to Earth because Castiel wouldn't go back to sleep. So it's like, it's, so that's what it sounds like Null is. He just wants everything, I guess, to go back. Uh, but then he, in Silver Surfer Black, he had his own dominion with servants and stuff. So I'm like, so, so does he want to conquer or does he want things to go back to quietness or does he have another plan? Like, I, I well, we'll see, I guess. We'll see in the King in Black. So anyway, I talked long enough about this. Uh, this is the announcement that they made really don't know much about it other than it's the book that a lot of people have been waiting for and it's the the i guess the follow-up to absolute carnage which to me handled the eddie and his son and spider-man's relationships really well but fell apart on every other level and so i hope that's not the case here i hope donnie finds a good balance between epic storytelling and then also the the, the small intimate stuff i hope it's a good balance and uh, i'm really curious to see where it goes, I'll definitely read it. I, I feel like um, maybe we'll just do, because we're going to be slow on, we might be more up on movie news by that point, because we'll probably start getting trailers and things. So we'll see how much I push reviewing Kingdom Black to the forefront. Maybe we won't do a single episode for each issue, uh, but maybe we'll just, you know, we'll do like group reviews and stuff or discussions. Um, maybe we'll do that. But I, I'm still deciding if I'm going to buy all these. We'll see how many tie-ins there are. If it's one book with a few tie-ins, I'll probably buy it. But if it's like Absolute Carnage where it's like 50 tie-ins or whatever, I don't know if I'm going to do it. So uh, yeah, you guys let me know what your thoughts are. Are you going to buy all these? If there's a bunch of tie-ins, let me know your thoughts, what you hope King and Black is going to be. Do you, you know, are you hoping it's the culmination of everything Donnie's done and it's the ending of it? Do you hope it's just the middle chapter? You know, he's going to go on and do more. Uh, what do you think of all that? I'd love to hear all your thoughts down below in the comments. And uh, thank you guys for watching the show as always. Let me know what you think. And uh, and if you have a dissenting opinion, different opinion to me, I definitely want to hear it. You know me, I'm a little negative on this one. I'm more reserved, I guess, of anything. I'm, I'm kind of upset. Uh, and in some way, like as a former marketing person, I'm just like, oh, this feels like a waste to reach out to Hollywood Reporter for this article that really doesn't say anything, doesn't have any details. Um, it just feels like a rush to get information out and it feels kind of sloppy and, and kind of half-assed. I mean, yeah, 
That's my opinion on it. Uh, but, you know, if you have a different one, that's fine. And if you're excited about the event, let me know your excitement. What do you hope happens in King and Black? Let me know down below and we'll continue the conversation down there. And make sure you use hashtag Scream for Scream and tweet at Marvel and try to get them to bring the Scream series back. As we talked about in my last video, Scream series ended and that's totally unnecessary. It shouldn't have ended. It's a good book. The writers should be able to complete their story and I hope they get their chance. And maybe that can happen if we make a little bit of noise about it. So uh, let me know your thoughts on that also down below. Thanks so much. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the future. Peace.